What's up everyone? Welcome to what is the official last unboxing, release day unboxing I should say, of the year that you guys are going to see. I have no, no radio, stop it. I have no pre-orders for the rest of the year at all, alright? So I know there's other stuff coming out, I'm going to be waiting on that stuff. To be honest, I think I'm going to be skipping Black Friday this year too, because there isn't a much, there isn't that many good deals for Black Friday at the moment, and also, uh, I have like barely any income to spend. So I'm personally really happy that this is like the last release day, you know, and just because it's just been hard to keep up with all the games that have been coming out and also have cash and stuff. So I'm, I'm fine with this, you know, I'm, I'm fine with it slowing down. We got all the games, we got most of the games now. I know there's other stuff coming out and I will be getting those probably around the holidays, Christmas time or whatever. Um, so I do, yes, like, I am getting, getting Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PS4 later, not, not in this, this is the Far Cry 4 unboxing, alright, just Far Cry 4, but I am going to be getting Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm going to be getting The Crew, going to be getting Metro Redux, going to be getting, uh, Grid Auto Sports, going to be getting Trials Fusion, maybe Shadow Warrior, maybe, uh, there's other stuff coming out, oh, Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments, all those games that I missed, um, I'm gonna be getting all right. So those those will be in the uh, this camera looks very dark by the way those will be in the uh, The video game awards when I actually do them all right, so Keep that just keep that in mind. Okay now uh, Let's talk about Far Cry 4. Okay. I'm excited for this one. I personally really loved Far Cry 3 I thought it was a great game um and uh, I just, you guys, if you guys saw my playthrough of the Far Cry 3 co-op, um, me playing with Dylan and also my friend Joe, um, where we did the Far Cry 3 co-op on PC, we were preparing for Far Cry 4. Um, you know that I absolutely hated the co-op in Far Cry 3, it was awful. So, but now co-op's the focus in Far Cry 4, it's, it's now integrated into the main campaign itself, which is probably much better than that lame-ass excuse for a camp, of a co-op campaign that was in Far Cry 3, so I absolutely hated the co-op in Far Cry 3, man. I, that that thing was awful. So, and I, I tried so hard to, to get through it, but I just said fuck it at the very, I was on, on the last level, I was just, I couldn't do it, I couldn't play it anymore, so. For those of you guys who actually watched that playthrough, it's like a 12 or 13 part um, video series preparing for Far Cry 4, um, you know what my feelings are on that. So, regardless, um, I'm really excited to get to get in here. Uh, I did this past weekend be Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on PS4, and I really I enjoyed the campaign. In all honesty, I thought it was a lot of fun. I will be uploading my review later. Probably tomorrow is is when my review will go live. And I also um, I decided that the next game I'm going to be starting on is Sunset Overdrive. All right. So tomorrow I am going to be starting on Sunset Overdrive. You guys are going to see a first impressions for that. So you guys will probably. It'll probably be a first impressions for Sunset Overdrive on Wednesday, and then Thursday I'll upload my Advanced Warfare campaign review. All right, but um, I decided to hold off on Assassin's Creed Unity. I wanted to give Ubisoft a little bit more time to polish the game and fix it, and make sure that the frame rate's stable and that all the bugs in the stuff in the game are completely fixed. So by the time I get through Sunset Overdrive, they should have addressed most, if not all, of the problems. All right, Far Cry 4 is going to be probably after, I'm probably going to play Far Cry 4 right after Assassin's Creed Unity, in all honesty. So, um, I'm going to play Far Cry 4, and then I'm going to loop back to Forza Horizon 2. Remember that game? I'm going to loop back to Forza Horizon 2 and start on that after I complete Far Cry 4. Now, because I'm going to have like a month or so of just not having any new games, because I'm skipping Black Friday, I'm going to be waiting until around Christmas time. I'm going to have other people get me the games as gifts. Um, this is going to give me a lot of time to not only beat those games, but get get into some of the multiplayer and stuff too. Uh, the Halo Master Chief Collection. I want to get through. Um, I want to go straight. I want to get through Halo, Halo One, and Halo Two. I want to get through through the winter. All right. So that, that's my project for the winter. And then during the summer, I'm going to play through Halo Three and Halo Four on there. So that's how I plan to tackle the Master Chief Collection. And there's other games that are come that, that I want to tackle in this in the winter. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. I bought the upgrade on PC, and uh, it runs it runs like 60 frames per second max settings on my computer, and I'm really surprised. I'm really happy about that too. But so I want to get through Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. 
Uh, Metro Redux, when I get that game, I'm probably going to be playing Metro 2033, um, and then Metro uh, Last Light again. So, once I get to those games, and this, is, this will all be during the winter. Because the winter, it's going to be a nice, you know, we're going to have like a month of no games at all. It'll be a good time to get really in there. I do know that Dying Light is coming out at the end of January, which is really nice, and I'm really excited to get that game too. All right, but um, like I said, 2015 is going to be a big year of change for me. I'm not going to be getting as much games as I got for 2014 because I kind of spread my ass cheeks financially and I was exposed too much. So that being said, I have to tone it down a little bit. All right, responsibly for myself, I have to tone it down a little bit because there are a lot of disappointments this year and I got really turned off by spending, wow, I spent $60 on that game. That's what it felt like. It really felt like that. So, all right, guys, I will see you guys back in a bit. I'm going to be picking up Far Cry 4. Wait. best friends are here so they were picking up Far Cry 4, Dragon Age Inquisition as well so here it is PlayStation 4 version you get exclusive you basically get share play but unlimited for Far Cry 4 kind of that's kind of like it's like the exact same thing without a time limit really whatever um, I will see you guys back at the house where we're gonna be unboxing this game bye <laughs> All right, so Far Cry 4, the limited edition. Isn't this beautiful? It's like a case, just like any other case. And uh, I'm going to be unboxing this now with my pre-order. Now with that, there goes the game. With my pre-order, I got the... Uh, your code to unlock the driller machine gun. So that's what I got, all right? So let's unbox this game. All righty, so Far Cry 4, the limited edition of the game. Um, which is basically your standard pre-order edition. Here, let me just get the sexy stages out. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, like I said, I'm excited to jump in here. I heard it plays very similar to Far Cry 3. You do have a couple, it basically like Far Cry 3 with just more content. So, I mean, that's what I heard. Which is fine. Um, you can copy and paste your gameplay, your core gameplay mechanics, as long as you do it once. So, and for, it's kind of... In this case, I, I kind of wish they did more because Far Cry, every single Far Cry has had a real core gameplay change, not in its genre, but in the way it looks and feels. And this game ver uh, looks very much similar to the, the gameplay of Far Cry 3, where it's kind of the, the same shooting mechanics and stuff like that. I'm sure they added some cool new things you can do, but I kind of wish that they would have taken this series um, it would have like pushed it off for like another it's like two years or whatever, a year or two, not probably like two years, and really done something new and something breathtaking. But regardless, it's still pretty good. Let's take a look at the front of the case. So the front of the case consists of our brand new villain. Instead of having a bunch of crazy, you know, people right now, we just have one crazy dictator who is Pig and Min, voice acted by none other than Troy Baker who's in like a dozen games this year. And it uh, takes place, of course, in the Himalayas and Kurat, some fictional some fictional uh, city or country, I guess. No, it's a country because he's a dictator, right? So yeah, some fictional country within the Himalayas. So pretty cool locale. I love the locale that they decided to do something really drastic and different. So at least in that respect, it's, it's very much different. So, And you do have an exclusive PlayStation um, feature right here, which you can invite 10 friends to basically play the game for co-op for free. Even if they don't own the game, they can still play co-op with you. It's very similar to the share play feature, except you're not limited by time. You can basically just jump in there with, uh, basically, I guess, you have 10 tickets. So I don't know if that means 10 individual friends, or you can invite that friend 10 times. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but regardless, you do have that cool little feature there exclusive to the PlayStation 4 version, which I like, all right? So let's take a look at the back of the case. So the back of the case here consists of uh, some gameplay pictures. We have every second is a story, we won a bunch of awards, you play, of course. Um, you do have a diverse open world co-op in and drop, no, drop, drop in and drop out co-op, excuse me. And weapons, vehicles, and skills, new additions to those. 
Um, this game is actually 1080p native on both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, running at a smooth 30 frames per second. So uh, you do have the, the parity along there. In fact, if you take a look at the graphics differences between the PS4 and Xbox One version, they, very, they look very similar. So and I, I don't know what the frame rate is like because I haven't seen Digital Foundry test for the frame rate of the Xbox One version. But this is pretty much the same game across all platforms. Um, apparently they were aiming to make it even the same on PC, so even if you got this game on PC, you're basically just getting the same game, the same graphics quality as the console version, um, but running, of course, at that more frames per second. So, um, I did hear that they were aiming for parity across everything, and of course this game is a cross-generation game, which I don't know why, I mean really, so... I'm sure this game is going to look very iffy on last-gen consoles, and I don't know how it's going to perform, but we'll see when more tests come out and stuff like that. All right, and you do need at least 25 gigabytes minimum of hard drive space, which isn't a lot considering this is a big open-world game. So uh, not that much, which is pretty nice. And uh, there is multiplayer up to 10 players. They actually did the multiplayer this time around, which is pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look inside the case. So here's the inside of the case. We have our game disc here, which looks like a rug, I guess. That, that's the look they're going for. It's so beautiful. Ah! There's me. I flipped this over, but you do have a code on here to uh, basically invite your friends to the open world. Um, but to be honest, I think... I mean, if you're not going to get Far Cry 4, really. <laughs> so... I don't even know if I'm going to be using this, but whatever. Uh, we have the Uplay stuff, more codes, jeez. An ad for Assassin's Creed Unity, and then an ad in different languages, the Season Pass ad. We also have a code here for the Hurt stuff, which I didn't really... This character, I, I didn't really like, you know, love this character. I don't really know why they brought him back. So, I mean, I wasn't like... I didn't totally enjoy this character. So, I'm, maybe I'm the only one, but... There we go, that's all the stuff, and that's pretty much the unboxing for Far Cry 4, alright guys? So, if you, again, let me reiterate, I'm going to be playing this game after I play Assassin's Creed Unity, and I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed Unity after I complete Sunset Overdrive. Here is the game sitting on my shelf, ready to be played. So, once I get to Sunset Overdrive, once I get to Assassin's Creed Unity, I'm going to be moving on to Far Cry 4. Alright, so, you guys will see our first impressions whenever I do start this game, it probably won't be for a while, but still, I am excited and looking forward to playing it. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. I will see you all later. Jeez, uh, I can't even say there's, there's going to be another unboxing after, another release day unboxing. I'll probably have like holiday unboxings and stuff like that, but there will definitely be content. I know the channel is kind of boring at the moment. I'm sorry. I'm just really super busy. I will try my best to keep it entertaining. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Goodbye.